Things have changed a lot in the last few weeks for all of us. I want to take a minute to acknowledge the unusual moment in time that we're all living through. When things feel uncertain, it helps me to connect to the people and things that are important to me. Thank you to our healthcare workers and frontline staff at Essential Services and stores for all they are doing to keep us safe and healthy. We know that everyone in our community faces changes in their personal lives, as well as for you and your family. While things are changing personally, things have also changed at work. We are busier than ever. All across Canada, we are seeing a lot of community needs, and YMCAs are responding. YMCAs are reaching out to seniors to ensure they have a personal connection. YMCAs are adapting newcomer services and employment programs to be offered online so that those that need the help the most are able to get it. YMCAs in Canada have created online options for staying active in body, mind, and spirit called YMCA Home. Many YMCAs are working with local public health services to adopt YMCA spaces and shelters for vulnerable people. One YMCA is even providing long haul truck drivers a safe stop along the route. But YMCAs and other charities across Canada have been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Services of charities are in high demand and we're working hard to respond. We're also engaging with our government about the stabilization support that our sector needs. We want to continue to support vulnerable people during this time and in the economic and social recovery to come. YMCAs are places where people connect and are there for each other. We have a strong community. We'll continue to work to build healthy communities now and into the future. Let me close by acknowledging and thanking all of our YMCA staff that continue to work in our facilities during this crisis. You are truly showing how YMCA step up and on these unprecedented times.